Hello everybody, this is Chris, and in this tutorial we're going to go over scaffolding. What scaffolding allows you to do is it allows you to create a rapid prototype. And to show you what I mean, let's just go ahead and start. So, I've already got Jeffrey Way's generator installed. So, if you haven't watched the video, how to install a generator or uh, let's install a generator and make our life easier. Go ahead and watch that video and then come back to this video. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't set up my database yet, so I'm going to go ahead and set that up now. Okay, so I've set up my database. It's empty. We'll go to it now. It's here. So, see, I've just, its name is Tuts and it's empty. And I have a virtual host set up on my LAMP installation and now we're ready to just get started. So using everything from my previous videos, so I have the new level four packages for Sublime Text 2, the package by for Artisan and the package by Jeffrey Way for his generator. So I'm just gonna hit control shift P. And first I'm going to install the migration for uh install my migrations table. So, migrate, and we're going to install it. And the migration table was installed successfully. Now we can get out of this window down here by hitting the Control plus the tilde key, and we'll hit it again. And if we go back out to our database here and refresh it, there's our migration table. Okay. So next we're going to scaffold. So we'll go ahead, ahead and hit Control Shift P again and just type scaffold and press enter. Down at the bottom it says enter the singular name of the resource. Now you want this to be lower cased, not upper cased, because if not, bad things will happen. So post is what I'm going to do and just hit enter here. And then table fields in column type format. So these are your fields in your database, on your table, actually, in your user's table, I mean post table, this is going to be your fields. So I'm just going to have a title, which is going to be type string, and I'm going to have a body, which is going to be type text, and press enter. Now if we scroll back up here, let's look and see what it did. It created a post model for us. It created a post controller for us. It created one, what, five views, four views. It created the index.blade, the PHP, the show.blade.php, the create.blade.php, the edit.blade.php, and the scaffold.blade.php, which is the master page. Next, it created a create post table, database migration, uh, a cedar and a test unit and it also updated the routes so if we go in and look here's our migration here's our controller using the RESTful routes we learned earlier actually REST the RESTful functions and our route and then our model which is here so let's go ahead and install that migration so we can get it going. So control shift P again and we'll say migrate and hit enter. And it has migrated the table. We'll go ahead and look. There it is. And now if we go into posts, there we go. So we can add a new post. This is the first post. is the body of the first post hit submit and there we go now we create another post and submit and there we go and we can edit them and we can delete them. So I hope this tutorial gave you some idea on how 
Uh, you can use scaffolding in your own projects and how easy it is to get it running and to prototype applications for uh, yourself or clients. And stay tuned for the next tutorial.